Hi, this is Gail with Gail Southern Living. So, I hesitate to tell this story. Um, I'm not sure why I would find shame in it. Um, but some of you know that I lost my sister last year back in October of 2022. Um, she had been hit by a car crossing the street. Um, and she was living in Montrose, Colorado. Um, what I haven't told you about my sister is that um, when they called us to tell us um, that she was in intensive care, um, they also told us that she was homeless, which I did not know that she was homeless. I, I kind of suspected she might be homeless, um, but I wasn't completely sure. Um, I'm not sure how long she was homeless, but I think it was less than two years. Um, she had, she had a backpack with her and she had two bags of food that she had got that day from, uh, I believe a place called the Shepherd's Hand. And, um, she... She did not have an ID, uh, but she did have a food stamp card with her, which I found out later was inactive, um, but she did have Medicaid, so maybe she got the Medicaid when she still had her ID, I'm not sure. Um, we did find several things in her possession. Uh, she had a little bit of jewelry. I picked up these, these little bracelets here. I've been wearing them ever since, um, you know. I did, you know, sanitize them pretty well and everything like that. Um, we did find out that about a month before she passed away, she had been in the hospital for COVID. And um, it was the hospital that had confirmed that information. And I wanted to tell the rest of my story, uh, but I was really nervous about it. And... Um, you know, it was, it was making me very sad and it was, I was having trouble with getting videos done on my channel. Some days I was having, you know, trouble getting out of bed. I had a lot of guilt from the last time I had seen my sister. Um, we had had a fight and, um, I did fall into some depression and my YouTube channel has suffered because of the loss of my sister. Um, I kind of wrote down what I wanted to say just because I didn't want to miss anything, but I didn't want to read it word for word, but I wanted it to kind of remind me of what I wanted to say. Um, I haven't been paid from YouTube in several months, but that part doesn't matter, of course. Uh, but that just shows that my YouTube channel is suffering, you know, because of depression. I started a volunteering job here locally. Um, but I did end up quitting that job because I was donating backpacks there for the homeless, but I wasn't actually getting to see the person that I was donating it to. Um, so I wanted to help somebody that was like my sister, somebody else's sister or mom or brother or dad. I wanted to help somebody else's family member. Um, let's see. I would have definitely helped my sister if I would have known um, that she was homeless. Um, I wish I could go back and fix the last moment that I spoke with her, um, but of course I can't. Um, just a lot of struggling going on in my life and, and kind of when you get sick, you also, when you get down, you also get sick. Um, because your mental state is not good. So having trouble right now feeling joy in the normal things of life, the normal things that used to make me happy, I'm having trouble with, just really struggling right now. Uh, I, have, I have gotten into the Bible and I've gotten into my uh, Bible journal uh that I have. I have like a couple of, I have like three Bible journals and then I have a brand new Bible. So I did, you know, I am reading on that. My mom and I started 
making up bags for the homeless uh, in her town because she's in a bigger town. My town's like 5,000 people. Her town's like 120,000 people. So um, the last time we did this about two weeks ago, we handed out 12 bags and I got to meet this homeless man that I talked to for about 20 or 30 minutes. Um, and he's been homeless for several years. He was very nice. I wish I had had all my video stuff together. Uh, if my husband had been with me, I probably would have went ahead and did an interview. But it was my mom that was with me. Um, he didn't seem hungry, but he seemed starved for attention. So I think, you know, number one, we need to look them in the eye and say hello to them. Even if we don't have something to give them that day, we need to treat them like a human. We need to ask them how they're doing. And I, I think, I don't know for sure, but I, I think that asking them if they're directly, if they're homeless, I think is probably offensive toward them. I'm just guessing by the reactions I've gotten so far. So, um, what seemed to work for me the best is when I was handing out the bags, I would say, hey, are you interested in a goodie bag? Oh, yeah, yeah. And then I would give it to them, you know. And um, I, I took a picture of the guy that I talked to that was homeless. He actually had a dog and he was carrying a wagon. He was pulling a wagon. I'm going to put his picture at the end of this video so you can see a face of someone who we actually helped. But we helped, like I say, 12 people. There was the, the lady standing on the street with the sign, okay, which uh, if, you, if you know the telltale signs, you know enough information about homeless people, there are some telltale signs. A lot of them have really dark skin for being out in the sun. Um, you can look at their tennis shoes to see how good their condition is, the condition of their coat. If they have a backpack with them, that's another indication. Uh, Stuff like that. You, if you pay attention, or a bedroll, of course. Uh, if you pay attention, you can tell if they're homeless or if they're not. Um, I do prefer doing the homeless ministry the way my mom and I are doing it, where I get to see the faces of the people I'm actually helping. Um, some things that the man added to the list that we were not doing um, was the Vienna sausages in the can with the pool top. The ramen noodles bagged which you think they couldn't use those, but they said that the convenience stores will let them go in and heat stuff up. So they can't actually use microwavable type food. Uh, dog food, because two of the people I came in contact with had dogs. So at least maybe a small little thing of dog food uh, that you could hand to those people. You don't want to give them a lot because they don't want to carry too much. Um, he mentioned plastic microwavable coffee cups where they could heat up coffee or hot chocolate. Uh, fruit tops, fruit cups with the pool top or the plastic kind. You know, just something that they can open on their own. I was just writing down some of the things. Um, I had mentioned in one of my lives about um, different items that we were collecting. We were you know, we were doing toiletries and uh, we would always do one kind of an entertainment item like playing cards or word search or uh, like a coloring book where they could draw with, you know, color with matte pencils. Some kind of a light source, flashlight, tea light, uh, LED light that they can punch, um, food items, of course. And they were... In my live, they were asking what kind of items they could donate. If they, if, you know, and I was thinking, of, I sat down and I thought about items that would be light enough that, that you could mail them if you wanted to. <clears throat> Number one, I wrote down toothbrush, toothpaste, hairbrushes or combs, razors, wash racks, Kleenex, you know, the little Kleenex in the small uh, little like you would put in your purse. Socks, pens, chapstick, gloves, hats, or scarves. And the socks, gloves, hats, and scarves could be used if, you know, you just washed them at the end. Also, if you are, would like to donate to this ministry, this homeless bag ministry that my mom and I are doing, 
You can also donate gift cards to Dollar Tree, Family Dollar, or Dollar General. Those are the three stores we have, plus we have a Walmart. So those are four stores in my town where, that you could see me a gift card and I could go and purchase items for the homeless with that. If you do intend to send me something like that, just write sister on it, or Gretchen is her name, and I will know what it's for, and I will go purchase those items. And just some people had asked me, before they knew the whole story, they just knew that I was handing out the bags to the homeless. Uh, I do believe that my sister Gretchen went to heaven. Um, I had talked to her, had several conversations with her last boyfriend. I don't think it was her current boyfriend, but her last boyfriend that she had. And he said when they were, when they were together that he would go to town and she would stay back at the camp and she would be reading her Bible all day. He would come home and she would still be reading it. So, and she did have a Bible on her possession and she had We were also told by her ex-boyfriend that um, she was planning to come back to our hometown. So I was going to get to see her again. And um, I'm still struggling with forgiving the person who hit her with the car, the woman who hit her with the car. Um, of course, she's very far away from me. Uh, and I will eventually forgive, but I feel like it's not been enough time yet, or I'm not ready yet. Um, but I will eventually forgive her. Uh, you know, it's, everything's been a struggle. Everything's been hard for me. Um, but like I said, helping other people like my sister makes me feel good. And, um... I feel like it's what I need to do, what I have to do. And um, my mom has the same calling. Uh, both of us have the same calling to do that. So um, I guess we will continue with that. I told my mom it would probably, we just did this probably a couple of weeks ago. And I had just purchased um, three shampoos for the men. Because I get different shampoo for the men and different shampoo for the women. So I was like, well, it'll take me a couple months to get my supplies back together with everything. And I usually do three men and three women. And um, so we end up with about 12 bags each. Maybe more. We'll see what happens. Uh, if we get some people that want to help and donate, um, it'll go much faster and we'll get to hand them out more. So it, it, did, <clears throat> it did bring both of us joy to be able to help other people. Um, there was a pretty good-sized group of people that we helped. Um, there was a lady uh, sitting at a donut shop with her dog, and um, she had a backpack on, and her coat was very tattered. And uh, my, I asked my mom just to stay in the car, and I said, <clears throat> "I said this is what I would give my backpack to, because the backpack had a little bit more stuff in it." And the lady was probably maybe thirty, so I'm not sure. And, uh, yeah, she did have a dog with her. We actually came across two different people that had dogs with them. So I would like to get a couple of little small bags of dog food from Dollar Tree or get a bag and kind of section it into smaller groups because they don't like to carry tons of stuff with them. Um, but, yeah, I would like to have a little bit of dog food just to help those people. But I'm thinking that those the dogs are really good company for those people. And they're also good protection for them. And um, uh, they never will answer the question about where they sleep. I'm just curious, like, do they sleep behind stores or in dumpsters? Um, do they sleep in empty fields on the sides of people's houses? I mean, like, where do they sleep at night? I'm really curious. Um, but, you know, that's they hold that one close to their self, and they don't want to answer that. And I understand. I'm sure there's... They have their good reasons. They're afraid we're going to run them off, but they don't realize I'm not the one that's going to do that. It's going to be uh, the lady, the lady or man in their neighborhood that they're they're in their space or whatever. It's not going to be me. So um, 
but yeah, we've managed to help. We've, we've actually done this twice. We did one set at Christmas and then we did a second set. So we've gone out twice so far. Um, so now we're gearing up for our third trip. I did have two backpacks donated to me uh, from my sister-in-law. She actually donated three, but I used one last time and I'm using two of them this time. And uh, so if I find backpacks for a reasonable price, I will purchase them, but I don't want to spend more than $5 for them because you don't want them to be too nice. Because if you get them a backpack that's too nice, then people want to steal it. So you want it to be a little bit old, maybe a little bit tattered, tiny bit dirty. You know, you don't want it to be too nice, you know. Um, so we're just working on getting those together. And um, please share this video on your community tab if you don't mind. I would like for people to hear the story, to get the story out about what's going on with these people. And, um, you know, I think a lot of people are misjudging them. I think a lot of people are thinking that these people are on drugs and uh, haven't come across anyone like that. And most of the people I talked to said most of them are mentally ill, uh, military, lost their job, got broke up with by a spouse, were living with a parent who passed away, something happened with their living situation. Um, you know, and I, I can't, I can't imagine one day having a place to live and one day not. I've never, ever really come remotely ever close to that. So I don't know what it, I cannot say what it feels like. I only know what it feels like to lose a family member who was homeless that you would have helped if you could have if they had given you the opportunity. So if you have a family member who's in jail, who's estranged from you, if you have even one little clue about where they are, go ahead and try to search them out and let them know that you love them. Because, you know, I think that's important. So um, we are putting um, Bibles in all the backpacks and journals and pens and things they can use to communicate with people. I would eventually like to get and put an envelope with a stamp at each one so that each person could contact a family member if they wanted to. Um, so, you know, we'll do the best we can. Every backpack is different. Every bag that we hand out is different. It's just according to the money we have and the things that we've had donated. Um, like to don't uh, say thank you to the people who've donated so far. Uh, my mother-in-law has donated uh, gloves, toothpaste, and toothbrushes. Um, who else? Somebody else donated something. I can't think of it now. Um, but anyway, thank you to everyone who's helped so far and who plans to help in the future. Um, have a great day, guys. Be blessed. Do something kind. And don't forget to share this video on your community tab. Bye, everybody. Thanks for listening to my story.